back to EarthBab Part 62. My name is I Like Being Smart. One month later, we're back. A few things I wanted to show you first. I pondered in one of the mole cave parts if you could get the present before you fight the mole because of invincibility frames. You can. If you fear... Ah, oh, shit. You can. Just let me show you really quick. Ah, uh, that didn't work. I know I tried it with a different mull. So you can get up there with invincibility frames and get the present as long as you stay there, the mole won't attack you. Next thing I wanted to show you off is I pondered if you got the exit mouse from the house on your way down from Onet to Tucson, if it would show up here and it doesn't. And I'm just going to show you the message really quick. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit. Didn't you leave my son with someone? I put him in Escargo Express. And so if you got the exit mouse earlier and it's in Escargo Express, you can't get to. So those two things aside, let's get back to what we really came here to see, which was the continuation of Part 61. I'm just going to show you my status really quick. Actually, I'm kind of in about the same spot as I was when I left off last time, which is really nice. Though poo is a lot, lot lower. So, let's go. Let's talk to him. You may have forgotten me, because last time you saw me was a month ago, but... I'm the Return of Belch. I fought you before. Hey, you. Don't you remember my ripe order? Changed his name to Puke. Barf, vomit, barf, barf, chuck, chuck, drown to death and puke. Don't you think that's incredibly masculine taunch to throw at you? Now, actually, I am going to use the same strategy I used for the part 62 I recorded not a month ago, but probably a month and a half ago. Which was basically bombard him with a crap load of bombs and, uh, and, uh, bottle rockets. Because I didn't feel like dealing with this guy. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Just like I did way back in Scaraba. So. If you do that. You'll... Healing Beta will get rid of that for you. I don't think she has anything else. No. So we'll just Ash. And we'll use another bottle rocket. Well, actually, we'll use the heavy bazooka. I didn't really show that off. That does pretty well, too. Oh, damn it. Oh, boy. Okay. We're still going to heal Jeff. We're going to pray with her and use the heavy bazooka again. All right. Very nice. There you go. Please, I saw or Alpha. Master Barf was defeated! The big pile of puke is done! I'll take the bat, thank you very much. Level 53. Healing Gamma, that's very nice. 41. See, his is a lot lower. Thunder Gamma. Alright! That was nice and convenient. Two, three minute battle or so. So you work your way up here. Is he still nauseous? Crap. Healing Gamma, by the way, um, can partially revive a dead party member. Now I say partially revive because some of their HP comes back, but not a lot. So about half. So still helpful to have a couple life noodles, in my opinion. Um, especially since it takes up, how much does it take up? 20. So kind of worth it, kind of not. Um, oh God, I'm a little out of the, I'm a little out of the hang of LPing. It'll take me a while to get back. So you'll have to forgive me in that. Oh, and also I have a different recording technique. So there might be a little bit of sound lag. So forgive me for that as well. Okay. We're shy. What about you? We're shy. <laughs> okay. I think there's broken something over there here. Oh, there's Death Ray. Very nice. We're going to give that to Jeff. 
We're going to equip Casey Bat. Oh, right, right. The Casey Bat misses a lot. I forgot about that. So it has a lot more um, offense, but it whiffs. So your call on there. So there's Happy Box, aka TV, and or maybe there's a phone in there if you want to save. I think we're about five minutes in. There's an in here if you want to recover. All right. Okay. Um, so you go around and you talk to the people. You figure out they're shy. This guy's the mayor. We're all shy. Rumor. I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. So make sure you talk to the mayor. That guy will sell you stuff later if you're willing to spend a crap load of money. But this is the guy you want to talk to. There's only one Tendo who's not shy. It's me, Bubby. You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground. So we covered up the hole. There are lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I was right seeing right back since I was so surprised. There's a talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? I understand, but I'm not as strong as I look. I'm sorry, I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. That's the key. Overcome shyness. So, apparently there's a book out there called Overcoming Shyness. You get a nice little call from Apple Kid. Hello, it's been a while since we've talked. My goodness, month, month and a half? What? Where the hell have you been? Anyway, this is Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Endonis' lab in Winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. Lots of exclamation marks. Hey! Oh no, what are you doing to me? Who are you? <laughs> SSOH, I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying he was going to see Dr. Andonuts in Winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm working hard on my adventure, so I hope you'll understand. Say hello to your friends. Okay. Sometimes there's enemies around here. So use teleport beta because I suck with teleport alpha. And you want to go to winters. Even though your instinct is to go back to Tucson per, or before to ask Apple Kid about, or Orange Kid about where the book is, or Onet because then he tells you it's in the library somewhere. Instead, you want to go to winters, go to the source. I figure out what happened to Apple Kid first. So I wasted like two minutes trying to figure out where to go last time. So now I can just go there because I know where I'm going. Oh crap! Crap, the teleport sequence glitches out. Oh, I forgot about that. God, that's still really loud. And if you talk to this guy, he's gotten taller. Oh, I don't have time to chat. Tony's missing. I thought he was with you. He suddenly disappeared. He's usually very responsible and leaves a note. <laughs> now that shop you could go to before has stuff that's now useless because you spent all your money in summers. See? Done, 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 done. We don't need anything. Um, I am going to deposit that money, actually. I sold a whole bunch of stuff and uh, to clear out my inventory... And the next part of this game is ridiculously hard, so I do not want any money on me. It's about nine minutes. I'm just going to show off like an enemy or two here really quick and then be done. So the enemies here are a lot harder now. No more gruff goats and now you've got the lesser mook. Who kind of looks like the department store spook. And um, you've got crazy robo guys. And it's pretty crazy. So I'm going to 
Hit the sky. Easy way to get the Wooly Shambler. William Shatner? Wooly, Wooly Shambler? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I'm making these guys look easy. I'm at a good level now. I can't remember. I actually watched through the rest of the Earthbound Let's Play up to this point to remember what I did and what I missed and stuff like that. And I noticed that. Uh, oh shit, this is probably over. I noticed that I said I was underleveled a lot when I'm probably not. So, next time on Let's Play Earthbound. More winners, and we find out what happened to Applecade. My name is I Like Being Smart. Nice to be back. Bye.